All right. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Let's start with the uh, message for you guys. All right. So the first card to come out for your message is nurture your dreams and yourself as you approach a brand new chapter in your life. It says birth, new beginnings, family, nurture, fertility, growth, and creation. All right. So spirit wants you to nurture your dreams and yourself as you approach a brand new chapter in your life. Okay. Tell me about cancers. So something has disappointed you with this eight of cups. There was some sort of previous disappointment. You felt let down. So I feel like your past. In the past, you may have felt let down by some things that happened in your life. Some things that you had high hopes for, only to be disappointed. And so I feel like you're entering into a new chapter, a brand new chapter in life, where in this chapter, you need to be focused on your dreams and yourself. Okay, because I feel like there, there is some sort of restless energy that's coming through. Some of you may be having a hard time sleeping. Or maybe you, you have like this unpredictable sleep pattern. Because I feel some sort of uneasiness as well. A restless energy. Hmm. All right, so I feel like this is happening because of some sort of block. I feel like you feel restless because you feel like you can't move forward. It's like you're, it's like going, feeling stuck. You may feel stuck. That's why you feel restless because you feel stuck. You feel blocked. You feel like you can't move forward. So it says here you have a new chapter, but in your mind, you feel restless because you feel like you, you you can't have this new chapter or you feel stuck and things are not happening for you. Yeah, King of Cups is coming through. Cancers. Yeah, you feel like you feel you feel stuck, you feel blocked. You feel like you can't move forward. Something doesn't feel fair to you. With this justice card, the first thing I heard, it doesn't feel, it's not fair. It's not fair. So I feel like something happened to you. And it felt like you, you feel like you can't move forward until there's been some sort of justice. Until some wrong has been made right. So I feel like you feel blocked because you haven't gotten justice. Again, Cancers, the King of Cups. Yeah, see, look at here, the Five of Wands. There's been some sort of challenge with some people that could have maybe done something to you or you experienced some sort of drama, some sort of chaos and conflict. But I feel like whatever it is that happened with this Five of Wands energy, you haven't gotten justice. You may feel like that's the reason why you're stuck too. Because of the drama and chaos that was brought into your life. I'm seeing here moving forward though, Cancers. Like, because I feel like this is more in your mind. You thinking this way versus the actual reality. Because I feel like in reality, Spirit is telling you again to nurture your dreams and yourself and to not focus on what happened in the past, to not focus on the drama. Because this is making me feel like God is going to get justice on your behalf. You don't have to worry. You're not stuck. Maybe at one point you were, but now you're not stuck. God is going to get justice. Karma is allow karma to take place. It may not happen in the time. That you think it should happen, but it will happen. God knows the best timing for justice to take place. Because I, I, I ask what happens when you move forward. And the tempers card came out. So if you move forward and leave behind your expectations, you will have peace. 
with this temperance, you will have peace. As a matter of fact, spirit will help bring peace and balance into your life. I also feel like with this nurturing your dreams, I feel like you're going to be focusing on yourself by moving forward and getting some things in your life organized prioritizing you and your healing and doing some sort of like work maybe like uh like focusing on your dreams maybe setting some sort of plan some sort of goal i'm also hearing getting someone's repair like credit repair i'm hearing someone getting their credit repair or focusing on their credit focusing on finances it's like something around that energy of where because i feel like your attention has been monopolized by the trials that you've gone through by the the injustices that you experience and it's blocking you and keeping you stuck but if you just surrender and let it go and trust the divine to get you justice you'll have peace you'll be focusing more on yourself versus focusing on what what happened what what you lost the things that you experienced that kept you stuck it's like no stop focusing on that because where your energy goes is where it flows so if you keep focusing on that you're going to stay restless you're going to stay unable to heal and move forward but spirit saying stop focusing on that and focus on you and your dreams nurture your dreams and yourself so that you can have this brand new chapter you won't be doing it by yourself with this temperance there's an angel Archangel Michael will be by your side to help you. Hmm. So I'm seeing that there is a lack of commitment though. So I'm getting here not giving and not committing to this. That's why the top of your card, the spirit saying, nurture your dreams in yourself. It's going to require commitment because I'm not, I'm not seeing here a commitment to doing so, a commitment to your healing, a commitment to a practice or a ritual. Like you, you have to create some sort of practice or ritual that's going to bring about the desired results that you're seeking. But I feel like the issue is that someone does not have that commitment, doesn't have that drive, that motivation. It's like I don't have the energy to give to it. You know what's being brought to my mind? I saw a... Uh, this was yesterday. I can't think of the name of the video, but I saw this title of a video where this girl was talking about how uh, she doesn't have the self-improvement. That's what it was. It's like I don't have the motivation or drive to do the things that I need to do to improve myself. And that's what this is reminding me of. Like someone just not having the motivation or drive because of, look, what happened in the past. Feeling so weary, feeling so defeated, feeling, you know, hopeless and blocked. So it's like that has drained you. So now I don't have the commitment. I don't have the drive. I don't have the power to give anymore. I'm, I feel like someone's just like, I'm all burnt out. That's why I said you have help though. Because I feel like they're wanting to help you because they know that you can't do this on your own. So how are they trying to help you? That's the question. If, if they're trying to help you, how? How is this angel, how is spirit trying to help cancers? <coughs> I'm seeing abundance and grace. Yeah. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me to set me free. Yep, that's how. That's And that's why I felt this energy of, I. it felt like grace. Because it's like, yeah, you had gone through some sort of difficult moment. And so, of course, you know, after experiencing that and not having the strength, not having the drive to do anything else, that's why it's like we're offering you help because we know the battle that you've had to endure. We know the trials and tribulations that you experienced. That's why we're here to help you. And one of the ways that they're helping you is by offering you grace. And I'm seeing here wisdom. On a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So there's something significant about the day of wisdom that you may get some sort of insight on. 
And I feel like whatever this insight is, it's going to bring some sort of abundance that's going to help with the new beginning in your life. Yeah, and bring in good cheer. See, I told you, you have help. This is you getting some sort of guidance to uplift you, to bring in this good cheer. Someone, this angel, you're going to get some sort of spiritual download Wednesday. That's going to bring in abundance and good cheer and a new beginning for you. You see, there is assistance. They're guiding you. They're telling you this is what you need to do. But I feel like the re what they need from you is to stop focusing on the past and the things that are bringing you down and set out some sort of time. Set out a time on Wednesday. Carve out some sort of time on Wednesday to say, I'm going to dedicate this particular time to spirit so I can get the download, so I can get the guidance that I need. Because you can't do it on your own because you're, you're, you're tired. You are like in this, like this stuck, this frozen energy. I can't move forward. You're in some sort of like free state. So spirit's trying to get the message to you. They're just asking. That's why they're giving you grace. They know you don't have the drive. They're saying, give us that Wednesday. Give us a particular time to communicate with you. But you have to get rid of the distractions and focus on us so we can give you that guidance. Because we want you to focus on your dreams and yourself. But how do you do it? Well, we'll tell you on Wednesday how to do it. But you have to make the time to listen to us. What else? Uh, new beginning. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. A new beginning. That's what they, that's why, that's how they're going to help you. They're going to help you have this new beginning. Help you have this new chapter by telling you exactly what you need to do. But it's going to require you to trust. I am safe. Trust that you are safe. Trust that you are secure and in love. My faith endures. See, you don't feel safe. Remember we saw that five of wands? Oh, look at here. Betrayal. I must have shuffled so I can't remember what happened to it. But... Remember we saw the King of Cups with the Five of Wands? You have been under attack, so you don't feel safe. So it's kind of like this fight or flight mode. You don't, you're you restless because you don't feel safe. You feel stuck. You feel like you can't move on because if you move on, what if something else happens to me? And that's why, they're, that's why we're saying here that Spirit wants to help you. They're offering you grace. They know what you've been through. They're saying, just give us a particular day, Wednesday, set aside a particular amount of time to communicate with us so that we can give you the downloads. And when we do, it's going to require trust. It's going to require trust on your part. You are stronger than you think you are. Anything else for cancers moving forward? The Queen of Cups is coming in for you. So this is you being in the Queen of Cups energy. This is about your feelings, your emotions. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, feelings and emotions. We got the Death card in reverse. So, Cancers, this is um, the Queen of Cups is coming in. The energy that I'm feeling about your feelings and emotions, it looks like how you're feeling is sabotaging you. Because there's something about an ending that you may be having a hard time accepting. It doesn't mean it has to be about a particular person. But there's some sort of ending that I feel like bothered you or is bothering you. And as a result, I feel like you're sabotaging yourself because of this ending. That you may have had a hard time getting over. Yeah, see the Three of Swords. Now, why is this ending bothering you so much? What about this ending bothered Cancers? Because remember, we saw the five of wands. Now we're seeing the five of swords. That's what it feels like. That injustice, like the things that have happened to you. 
That's what's bothering you. But I feel like it's sabotaging you though. By how you feel about it. The things that were done to you. And how it ended. That's the thing. You you can't. You're having a hard time with the quote unquote ending. That's what this is. Like the things that were done to you. Maybe you feel like these people are not. Get, you're not getting justice. You're having a hard time with your ending. Because you may not have gotten some sort of justice. But there's something about how you're feeling. That is actually hurting you. Rather than helping you. Clarify this energy for me. Uncertainty, blocked potential, missed opportunities, a lack of luck. Things are not quite what they seem. What is hidden will soon be revealed, Cancers. That's what I'm saying, right? See, I feel like you feel that, that whatever happened, you didn't get what you deserve. You didn't get your justice. And the people that did you wrong, you may feel like they didn't get what they deserved. But spirit is letting you know things are not what they seem. They're like, and I feel like you feeling this way is blocking you and your potential because I feel like some bad things happen to you. You miss some, you miss some opportunities. So you feel some sort of way about that. But spirit is saying it's not what it looks like. Allow me to deal with it. I want you to move on. Leave this to me. Because you focusing on this is sabotaging you. It's blocking you. It's actually what's hindering you from having good luck. If you leave this behind and not focus on this, but focus on your dreams and yourself, I promise you, justice will be served. So tell me about cancers moving forward. So moving for trust, again, trust is coming through. Trust your intuition to help you navigate challenges and seize opportunities. Flow, intuition, emotions, healing. It says the unconscious psychic ability. So moving forward. See, look at here. She, she's focused. She's looking to the past. She's looking to the betrayal. She's looking to what's causing her angst, what's causing her to feel uneasy. This is where she's focused. This side over here is that restless energy. It's that I can't get over what happened to me type of energy. I'm stuck type of energy. But if you move forward, you will regain balance. You will regain healing. You will be able to not only trust spirit, but trust yourself again. And here come the opportunities coming your way. And you're going to be guided to seize those opportunities. They're going to help you create them, be open to them, and guide you towards them. But it's going to require trust and also trusting yourself. When they give you those downloads, trust that that's coming from spirit. And how will you know what's coming from spirit? Set some time by, set some time on Wednesday to connect with your team. So you can easily recognize them when they do give you those downloads. All right, so let's close out with a final, um, a final card for Cancer. What's the final word for Cancers? All right, the final message for Cancers. Harmony. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. See, look, the final message focusing on you and it's bringing harmony. And as you create, you will share. Meaning as you focus on yourself, it allows you to open up to give more. When you first take care of you and you get yourself balanced, you can then help others. It says here, as I create, I will share. That's going to bring harmony, divine harmony, with love and care. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next reading. Bye.